friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elise with All Things Elise. If you're new here, welcome. In today's What's For Dinner video, you will be seeing three easy, budget-friendly dinner ideas. So first up is going to be a grilled cheese panini and tomato soup. Of course, before you go, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And let's get right into it. Let's pack up a life, baby. And call it a night. First thing I did was get a can of tomato soup and a one can of milk and I got that on medium heat just to get that nice and warm. Now I'm starting off with thick sliced Texas toast. Um, I believe this is just the Walmart brand and buttering it, putting some garlic on it and I busted out the panini press and I'm making Greg's first. He likes Swiss cheese so I did that. I put turkey on it, some cheddar cheese and then put the other top on and we are getting it toasty. I am very basic and just did cheese in mine. So you will also see that. We won't regret this. Let's kiss the past goodbye. If you're anything like me, I always forget how much I love this dinner. It is so fast, it's so easy, it takes you back to childhood. What is there not to love about it? nothing is stronger than wanting what you might get second meal for this week was spaghetti pie this was my first time making it and to be honest with you it has very similar taste to a lasagna just kind of in a different form or shape or whatever it was delicious super simple and you guys should try it i think you'll enjoy it as you guys just saw, I diced up one onion. I'm starting off with one pound of ground turkey. You could use beef, I just had turkey, so that's what I'm using. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. Once this is partially cooked, I'm gonna add in the onions. And then you are gonna add in one can of whatever kind of tomato sauce you like. I don't remember the brand that I used, but I did add that in. I added a little more pepper. I'm just gonna kinda let that cook for a little while while I get my noodles cooked. Cause it's Okay, once these are cooked according to the package directions, I ended up taking some out for two reasons. One, I wasn't sure my kids would eat this. Second of all, you need not that many noodles because you are gonna be pushing this to the side to make like a nest, you will see that. Anyways, we'll get there. Add in some butter, probably about two tablespoons. Mix that all in. The next step is going to be adding in two beaten eggs. Let the noodles cool off a little bit first so that way you don't get scrambled eggs. And then you're gonna add that back to your pasta and you're gonna start pushing all your noodles up around the sides, kind of to create a pie crust, hence spaghetti pie. The next thing you're gonna be doing is just adding in the meat sauce that you just made. And then you're gonna either be using ricotta or cottage cheese. I had cottage cheese. You guys should know me by now. I use what I have on hand. I'm adding in salt, pepper, garlic, mixing that all together. And I am going to add that to the top of the pie. And then I'm gonna to be topping it with mozzarella cheese and shredded Parmesan cheese. And it's gonna bake in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. You'll know when it's done because the top will be melty and bubbly. The next thing that I'm doing is making a little side salad with whatever veggies I had left. So it was just lettuce, cucumbers, and matchstick carrots. I'm also using up the leftover Texas toast that I had for the grilled cheese sandwiches. So I'm making that into garlic bread. I am just topping them with the butter, garlic powder, and then a little bit of dried parsley.
For our final meal, we are having ham steaks, pinto beans, and cornbread. For this pinto bean recipe, I have made it before in another video, so I will link that video down below. But basically, I soak the beans overnight, I add in my seasoning, and I bake it on low for the entire day. Six, eight hours, I think this one was like eight or 10 hours. And now my most favorite kitchen helper is gonna be helping make the box of Jiffy cornbread. Okay, you wanna help? Great. Uh -oh. Okay, start stirring. Mama's gonna get the milk. You're gonna watch? You wanna watch mama? Yes. Okay. So get in there, muffins. Mm -hmm. Mama's making you some cake? Yeah. Okay. And jam cake. Is this your favorite, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, jam and cake. Uh-huh. Oh, done. Oh, done. Now we've got to cook it. Mm -hmm. Right? Here, Mom's gonna help you down, then we go put it inside the oven. And you stay right here. All right, in it goes. Bye bye. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, you'll be seeing two videos from me each week. The best compliment you can give me is a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button before you go. And I'll see you in the next one.